Hey, what's going on YouTube? iDevice Help here. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to downgrade from iOS 7 down to iOS 6. Uh, now, this method works on all devices, iPhone 5, 4S, iPod, 5th uh, generation. All the devices that are supported by iOS 7, you can downgrade to iOS 6 uh, to the current version that Apple is signing. Now, this downgrading process will only work until iOS 7 goes released to the public. So, if you're stuck on the uh, I don't have a developer account screen I know a lot of you guys have been telling me that when you update to iOS 7 the free method on my previous video some of you have been getting stuck on 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 the uh, developer screen or uh, different stages of the process I'm gonna show you how to downgrade back to iOS 6 now on the iPhone 4s the current uh, signing is 6.1.4 that is the current software that Apple is allowing you to downgrade to and on other all the other devices is 6.1.3 so I'm gonna have a link down below to where you can download the uh, software the iPhone OS version for your respected device. Now keep in mind, a lot of people telling me, well, I downloaded the uh, software, but iTunes is telling me it's not compatible. Make sure you download the one for your correct device. Even if you have an iPhone 5, there's se several types of iPhone 5. For example, CDMA, which is Sprint and Verizon, that's just an example, and also GSM, which is AT&T and uh, T-Mobile. So make sure you download the correct version of iOS for your correct device and keep that in mind. So the first thing you want to do is you want to power off your device. We're going to go ahead and start the downgrading process here. You're going to power off. Wait for the device to completely boot uh, power down. I'm going to launch iTunes here. Okay, so the device is still down, booting down here. Again, it works on all devices that are updated to iOS 7. You can downgrade back no matter on what stage of the process you're at. You can power off your device. And what we're going to do, we're going to hold down the power button for three seconds. Then we're going to join it with the home button. And then we'll release the power button and only keep pulling down the home button. And this way we'll be able to downward. So let's go ahead and begin. One, two, three. Home button together with power for ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll release power and keep pulling down the home. Okay, and you can try this process over and over. iTunes will recognize your device in recovery state. And as you notice, my iPhone was in iOS 7. So what you want to do is you want to download the iOS version of your respective device and make sure you save it to the desktop of your computer is the easiest way to find. Now if you're on a Mac, you want to hold down the Option key here on your keyboard. Uh, and for Windows users, you want to hold down the Shift key. While you hold down the Option key or Shift key, depending on your operating system, you want to click on, iTunes, or on, on Restore uh, right here with your mouse. Okay. Now, since I have my iOS 6.1.4, which is the current iOS version that Apple is signing, here on my desktop, as you can see, I can go ahead and select it, double tap it, and it's going to tell me to restore. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And since the uh, downgrading process or the uh, restoring process takes about five minutes, I'm going to be clipping this video a little bit just to make the video a little shorter so you guys don't have to watch uh, 20 minutes of video or 15 minutes of video. So right now it is extracting the software here, as you can see, by iTunes. We're going to be downgrading from iOS 7 to 6.1.4 on the iPhone 5 and 6.1.3 for all the other devices. So let's go ahead and wait for the process to continue. Again, this will only work, guys until iOS 7 is released to the public. Once iOS 7 is released to the public, this will not work, okay? Because Apple will no longer be signing the iOS 6. So let's go ahead and wait. As you can see there, preparing an iPhone for restore. The Apple logo has come up. Let's go ahead and continue with the process here. So we're almost done with the process. As you can see here, the progress bar is about a 75% done. Let's go ahead and continue waiting. Alright, so it looks like the device is completely restored back to iOS 6. Let's make sure that it is, in fact, restored to iOS 6. Let's go ahead and wait. Alright, so there we are. Let's go ahead and initiate the process here to uh, set up the iOS 6 here, as you can see. Let me go ahead and do this process, and I'll be right back. Alright, so once you go through the initial process of starting up iOS 6, you go ahead and start using iPhone, and there we are. We are back to iOS 6. You can start doing your thing. You can sync everything back manually if you saved everything back to your iTunes. Uh, it's very important that you do that. So there it is, iOS 6 back on the iPhone 5. Again, it works on iOS devices that are also, all the iOS devices, excuse me, that are supported by iOS 7. You can downgrade back to iOS 6, and this is the way how to do it. Remember, only once Apple releases iOS 7 to the public, this will not work. It's only going to work until iOS 7 stays in beta. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all about anything I talked about in this video, please feel free to leave a comment down below, guys. I try to get to as many of you guys as possible. Uh, 
And also, like always, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And don't forget, like always, to stay up to date with the latest information on your iOS device by visiting iDeviceHelpUs.blogspot.com. It's been iDevice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.